Hi everyone and welcome to the Derek McKenzie Drumming Groove Sessions channel. Here I am today with my brand new drum kit and literally this is a brand new drum kit. It's the Yamaha Recording Custom. Fantastic, straight out of the box. Tuned it up, set it up, everything, okay? Now, as beginners, as we all were and as you are, or some of you are, uh, you have um, you have your four piece kit or five piece kit symbols and you think it's easy to play the drums. Of course it's easy to play the drums, but then again, it's not because you are the person that's keeping the band and everybody in time. Now, the basics of drumming, four beats in the bar, you play on the two and four and you just keep the beat going like this, literally. It's just a case of just keeping it steady and flowing. Check it. That's drumming. That's basically drumming. Now that's just a basic beat. Now, a lot of the beats today, as we know, are based on four to the floor. And now I'm gonna show you a basic beat, four to the floor. You've got, uh, first of all, before I do or say anything, I'm gonna tell you what every part of the drum kit is. Kick drum. There, to basically keep everyone in time and to let you know where the one, two, three, four is. Snare drum. You play on the two and four. One. Hi-hats. There, again, to keep you in time, but an extension, an extension, sorry, of the, what the kick drum does and what the snare does. And this is what you have. drumming it's the brand new kit straight out of the box all you have to do is remember to keep everything in time keep everything together you don't need to go hell for leather you don't need to go bananas you just need to keep it straight simple and groovy that's my policy hence why when I play I just play simple grooves I can play complicated grooves but when I started out I started out just by playing simple grooves Literally, it's so simple and it can be enjoyable. It's about coordination and you have to start from the very, 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 very beginning. Later on in my groove sessions, I'll show you how I practice, what I practice. Um, I, have a, I use a book called Stick Control, which has a bunch of exercises in, which are fantastic and it's like the Bible of drums. It has every single rudiment combination that you, that you can put in and it's a great way to start to learn the drums, even on a basic level. It's, it's got the notes, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. You just follow the instructions, follow the instructions at the front, follow the instructions on the sheets within the exercises. Start off really slow and slowly build up your speed. One thing I say, Always listen. Listen to lots of music. If you want to be a drummer, listen to lots of music. It doesn't matter what kind of music, just listen to lots of it. It always helps. 
and always be open to listening to people's suggestions and always be open for expansion in your mind. Okay, again, just playing the drums, so easy. Look, cymbals. So simple, but now I'm going to do the same thing and speed it up so that you can hear what level you can get to. I'm only at my level now because I'm a groover. There's lots of other drummers out there that are fantastic, but I play my style. You can create your own style too. I've spent years creating my style and this is what I do. Okay, one, two. The style that I play, disco funk, mixed with other whatever it is that I've listened to and I just try and throw it all in. But essentially, it's disco funk. It's what I play. It's my style. I don't do chops, I leave that for the choppers. I just, leave, I just play my style and all I want to do is make people dance and let people enjoy the music that they're listening to. So. As a, as a beginner, you guys, I'm here to help. If you really, really want to come and have lessons with me and you need any advice, please come to my Facebook Drummer Like page or, and send me any questions that you have. And please feel free to watch the chapters which are gonna be following this one. And feel free to ask any questions if you have any questions to ask once you've seen the chapter, okay? Um, thanks a lot for your support and I look forward to teaching you and I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to hopefully seeing you in person to teach you about the drums. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye.